Each of us are creatures that have been crafted with great complexity. And as our clocks tick on this spinning rock, we need not neglect our deepest desires. To be invited, to be identified, to be loved and to be known, to hold close both people and places that can make us feel at home. You know, my big homie always used to say this modern day cliche, and it would go, the more you know, the more you grow, which means we can't not reap and yet somehow expect to sow. So I spend my time unwinding, resting in the recesses of safety, listening to Neo Soul, D'Angelo and Erica, meditating on matters of this mess here in America, breathing deep breaths, embracing the beauties of my body, dancing and delighting in my own divinity, watering my plants, spinning my favorite records, saying prayers and practicing presence. I mind my own damn business and I watch it pay. So on most days I'm amazed as I give God space to drop the needle on the record of favor. And as it plays on repeat, I move my body, mend my messes, and make friends with all my broken pieces, motioning them towards one another to make a mosaic. And the essence of every act allows me to cultivate space for my complexities. And I invite you to do the same, to commune with your curiosities, to do the deep work of deconstructing, to evaluate your own emotions, to find and feel the fullness of true freedom. Because seasons change and so do we. But our days can draw us closer to who we ought to be. And considering that history doesn't get to inform the future on how it's supposed to feel, it's up to us to bridge what's broken and use the tools we have to build. Fragments. <laughs>